I am beyond excited about MCP. I've been talking to a bunch of different companies who are doing a lot of cool things thanks to the model context protocol. So today I'm going to show you something uh, that maybe is going to give you ideas of why this protocol, this MCP, is so good for the future of AI. And in order to do this, uh, let me share my screen here. I'm going to do it using one of my favorite open source projects, which is Spice. Let me tell you why this thing is so cool. OK, so if you get to a company and that company is likely uh, managing data that's all over the place. So you might have data. I have a diagram here, actually. You might have data sitting in S3 buckets. You might have data sitting in vector store databases, MySQL folders everywhere, OK? And if you're building an application that's going to connect to this data, you're going to have to do many requests in order to access that data, right? You have to connect to S3. You have to connect to MySQL. You have to put that data together. It's just the regular way we've done it is just, you know, it's not good, OK? It's high latency. There is limited concurrency. That is the status quo. Now, it's Spice, the, the way it works is it's going to sit next to your application. So number one, you're going to have low latency. And then it's going to create a cache of your data as you access it, OK? And it's going to give you this single view of your data. So you don't have to worry about where the data is coming from. You don't care if the data is coming from S3 or if it's coming from MySQL. You access that data as if it sits locally next to your application. And behind the scenes, Spice does all of the plumbing to get that data cached locally here. So that SQL endpoint, that single request that you have to do, and if I go back to the repo, that's the SQL query API that they provide. That thing is huge. But they also offer two more endpoints, and I'm going to show you how to use them now uh, with MCP. So number one is the OpenAI compatible API. So basically, you can use it with Gemini. You can use it with Cloud or the OpenAI models. And you can use an LLM to query all of this data, to manipulate this data, okay, to deal with this data. That is super cool. But they just released, actually last month, they released the MCP server, OK? And this is what makes things, it takes everything to a next level, OK? So this is the diagram that they posted. Uh, this is Spice sitting right here. Remember, Spice is going to give us access to all of that data. But now, Spice can act as an MCP server that we can connect to so I can have my cursor uh, IDE connect to Spice to do things, or I can have Cloud Desktop connect to Spice, or in the future, the OpenAI desktop application connect to Spice and do things. But at the same time, Spice can connect, can add an MCP client, and can connect to other MCP servers and tools. And that is what I'm about to show you. Super, super cool. Now, here is Cursor. And here is what I want to you to see, OK? I have a very simple Spice YAML file. That's the configuration for Spice, which is running on my computer, single command. Again, it's just open source. You run that command, and you have it running on your computer. And I connected my Spice to two data sets. So the first data set is just a parquet file that's sitting in S3, OK? That's it. So I have data sitting in an S3 bucket, and I'm connecting my Spice instance to that data. OK, that data could be coming from MySQL, from Postgres. I don't care. In this case, it's S3. And I also have a file that's right here in my local folder, OK, inside the data folder. The file is called taxi zone lookup. So just so you understand what this data represents, this is the famous uh, New York taxi trips data set, which is public. And this is the data from 2024. Uh, you can download this data online. So all of the taxi trips information, that is what's stored in S3. And the lookup table here, that's going to give me the name of the locations, because in the original data set, locations are represented with an ID 
like it went, the trip went from location three to location 17. Well, three and 17 are represented with IDs. The values, the actual locations are inside this CSV file. If I open the file, you can see the location ID, the borrow name and the sum. So I have that lookup file stored here locally and I'm connecting my SPICE instance to those two data sets. So I'm gonna run SPICE here. So you can see how after this is running, this gives me access now to all of that data. Okay, I'm gonna go to a separate terminal and I'm gonna do SPICE SQL. And I'm gonna say show tables. And notice how here I have tables, taxi zones, I have taxi trips. These tables are coming from, sorry, these tables are coming from different locations here, okay? So these tables are coming, as you can see, from the trips and from the lookup, okay? Let me go back, see that I have the taxi zones, which is the lookup. I have the taxi trips that's right here is coming from S3. So with this running, and I don't need this anymore, I can also uh, open Spice Chat and this is going to connect me to that OpenAI endpoint. So now, because I configure a model, which is this model here, now I have access to just a chat, to chat with GPT-4.0, and that model will have access to all of the data. So I can say things like, how many taxi trips? And now the chat is gonna go and it's going to return, there are 2.9 million taxi trips in the data set. So using an LLM, I can now start querying my data. I'm gonna do just one more query so you see how it works. Uh, I'm gonna say, return the data of a, ta of a trip that lasted at least five minutes, okay? So just a complex query, the LLM is just gonna, behind the scenes, we don't care about how the LLM does that. The LLM is just gonna search that data in my table. You can see here that it says vendor ID, pickup date time, passenger count one, the, the distance, the trip distance what was 1.09, pickup location and drop off location. Okay, see the IDs? I can say, uh, Tell me the origin and destination of that trip. And hopefully this is now gonna use the data from the lookup table to give me the destination. The origin of the trip is Moray Hill in Manhattan and the destination is Penn Station West, also in Manhattan. Both locations are within the yellow zone service area. That's yada yada that the LLM added. So, just by configuring this, now I can manipulate my data, I can query my data without having to worry about where the data is coming from. It's all local for me. It's super fast and it's all local for me. I don't care where the data is coming from. But here's where MCP comes in and what makes this super, super cool. Spice, which is running here, I can configure it as an MCP server here for my cursor instance. In fact, I already did. If you don't know how to configure an MCP server, you can check on the documentation of the tool that you have. In this case, Cursor. The way you do it is through uh, the Cursor settings here. Like right here, you have it. Let me just refresh this. This I, I wouldn't worry about this error here. This is something that's running on that part of my computer. This is actually running here fine, uh, but anyway. I can go here and you can see I have an MCP server and I have Spice, that's the name I created. And I'm connecting to the SSC protocol here. So this is uh, server uh, sent events protocol, HTTP server sent events protocols. That is what Spice is gonna make available to Cursor. So after doing this, and you, by the way, you shouldn't see this, this red thing. I can tell you this is it's running fine. Uh, it's just that I, I have that port, it's not working for that port, but that's that's okay. I can come here now to cursor, to my chat, 
and I can do the same stuff that I've been doing here on my chat. So let's just give it a try. How many taxi trips? And let's see if Cursor actually sees that server. It says, let me help you analyze the taxi trip data. First, I'll check what data sets are available. So look at this. It called the MCP tool list data sets. And as you can see over here, list data sets is in fact a tool that's available for Spice. So it, it did that. There are 2.9 million taxi trips. And now it's just calling a random sample, which should be a tool somewhere here. There we go random sample. And now is just this data set contains the tele information about taxi trips in New York City, including blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I do have access to everything here in my data through MCP from cursor here. So what else can you do? Well, you can turn now, you can have spies act as an MCP client and connect to other MCP servers as well. Spice right here is an MCP server providing access to all of that information, but it can also act as an MCP client of other MCP servers. In this particular case, I'm adding one MCP server. You can try with any MCP server that you see online. In this case, I'm using the Google Maps MCP server. Uh, again, it's available, so you can just add it. And I'm making this MCP server available to the model. So that means that I can come here and I can say, uh, let me just make this bigger here. I'm going to say, uh, show me a trip that lasted at least 10 minutes. Make sure you include the origin and destination locations. Okay, so we know Spice should be able to answer this question without any tools, but when it comes back with an answer, we are actually going to use Google Maps to and see if it works. Okay, so it's calling the MCP tool. It's called SQL. Notice how it's actually passing like a SQL query to that database. So now it's telling us what was the origin, what was the destination. Notice how that information is coming from a separate file that has nothing to do with the original file, which is great. All right, so awesome. So now I have this, and now I'm going to say, give me driving directions from the origin to the destination. So now I'm asking Cursor to give me driving directions. And now Cursor is going to use Google Maps API. Why? Because I configured it here for Spice. And now Google Maps API is going to give me, you know, <laughs> turn by turn directions to go from that location to another. So this is about combining different tools in, in, a, in, a, in a way we're chaining them here just to give us way more power for the LLM. So not only we can just query a table, but now we have an entire system that's capable of querying the table, like joining the table. Uh, it's, all new, it's all working here uh, with a very low latency because of the catch that Spice is creating. And on top of that, Spice is giving us access to other MCP tools to manipulate and use with that data. This is super, super cool. So I hope this inspires you to see the power of MCP, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.